Joseph Smith could not have written the Book of Mormon because it's roughly 260,000 words and he did it in roughly 65 working days. To those who think this is a good argument, let me put the Book of Mormon into perspective. Setting the timeline aside just for a moment because that's problematic, let's compare the Book of Mormon to other works of literature. Let's look at Robinson Crusoe published in 1719. It took Daniel Defoe less than six months to write this book and the word count is in the range of 124,000, which is half the size of the Book of Mormon. What about Pride and Prejudice? Well, it took Jane Austen 10 months to write this and she was only 20 years old. And the word count comes in at about 122,000, which is again, about half the size of the Book of Mormon. What about Wuthering Heights? Emily wrote this book in nine months. She was 27 years old and the word count comes in at about 108,000. A Tale of Two Cities? It took Charles Dickens eight months to write this book. And the word count is somewhere between 140 and 150,000. The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? It took Robert Louis Stevenson six weeks to write this book and the word count comes at about 28,000. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley was started and completed in the same year. She was only 18 years old and the word count comes at about 75,000. My favorite example is probably Barbara Cartland. Barbara was an English writer born in 1901. She holds the record for the most books published in one year, 191. According to her son, she produced 8,000 words a day between the hours of 1.30 and 3.30 p.m. And she dictated these words to an assistant, which is how Joseph Smith produced the Book of Mormon. For Barbara Cartland to produce the same amount of words as the Book of Mormon, it would have only taken her 33 days. And a more modern take comes from the book Cinder, Scarlet, and Cress, written by Marissa Meyer. She basically wrote all three of these books in 30 days. She took the NaNoWriMo challenge where you write 50,000 words in 30 days, and she just took it a little too far. Her word count was 150,011 in those 30 days. But going back to the timeline, according to Joseph Smith, he received the Golden Plates on September 22nd of 1827. And the translation wasn't finished until July of 1829 which is about 21 months. So if you look at his breaks and pauses as part of the writing process, it could have taken Joseph Smith just under two years to come up with the first draft of the Book of Mormon. If you add to this timeline, like his mother's account suggests, we should readjust because Joseph Smith was telling stories from the Book of Mormon as early as 1823. And this increases the timeline by several years. Lucy says, during our evening conversations, Joseph would occasionally give us some of the most amusing recitals that could be imagined. He would describe the ancient inhabitants of this continent, their dress, mode of traveling, and the animals upon which they rode. Their cities, their buildings with every particular, their mode of warfare, also their religious worship. This he would do with as much ease, seemingly, as if he had spent his whole life among them. She also said, he charged us not to mention out of the family that which he was about to say, as the world was so wicked that when they came to a knowledge of these things, they would try to take our lives. The church likes to push that Joseph Smith translated the book between 60 and 90 days. Joseph Smith said he had the plates for as many as 21 months, and he was telling stories from the Book of Mormon for roughly five and a half years. So no, I don't think it would be that hard to believe that a 24-year-old Joseph Smith could have written the Book of Mormon.